Hi everyone and welcome to week four of Summer Enrichment, our very last week. Can you believe how fast time has been going? It's crazy. So we, this week, are reading one of my favorite stories, Streganona. And it is a wonderful story. It's filled with magic. It's filled with just fun. Imagine a spaghetti pot that just makes more and more and more spaghetti. What could be better than a ridiculous amount of spaghetti to eat? I hope you guys really like spaghetti because our experiment today has to do with spaghetti. We are going to see how strong is spaghetti. We know how strong we are. We all have muscles and we eat vegetables and we eat healthy foods and we drink milk and we take vitamins and we exercise to build those muscles to make our bodies as strong as possible. Well, do you think that spaghetti does the same thing? Is spaghetti something that is real? Is it a living thing or is spaghetti a non-living thing. Is it alive or is it not alive? If you said not alive, you're right. Spaghetti is not a living thing. It doesn't grow, it doesn't change, and it just is what it is. You can't change spaghetti. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, you can cook it to make it go from hard to soft, but a piece of spaghetti will always be a piece of spaghetti. So we're gonna see, and I have a brand new box, how strong do you think spaghetti is? Do you think it's really strong? Do you think that it could lift something really heavy, like say a bowling ball? Do you think that it could push you across a room? I mean, it doesn't look all too big. It doesn't look all too thick. It's just really thin and it's got not really a lot to it. When you feel it, it's very smooth and it's hard and it kind of bends a little bit. So, hmm, what do you guys think? Do you think spaghetti is strong? Because when I do this to a piece of spaghetti, it breaks so easily. So how can we make spaghetti strong? Hmm, well, how are our, how are our bodies strong? That's right, our muscles work together. We have all different kinds of muscles in our body. We have muscles in our arms, we have muscles in our legs, we have muscles in our backs, in our chest, in our stomach, we have muscles everywhere. And those muscles work together to make us strong and so that we can lift things and push things and do different things that require force, require effort. So I wonder if spaghetti works together like our muscles do, can it be strong or will it still break? Hmm, I wonder. Well. We are scientists, we have a question, and now we need an answer. So let's find out. For this experiment, you will need spaghetti. You'll need probably not a whole box, but I have a box here, so that's what I have. And you are going to need two pieces of styrofoam. If you don't have styrofoam, there is another way to do this experiment, and that is to create something that makes two stacks, whether it's heavy blocks, books, um, DVDs, magazines, something that would take the pieces of spaghetti and hold them as if they were a bridge. So what we're going to do though is I'm going to use the styrofoam and how I'm going to use the styrofoam is I am going to poke each piece of spaghetti into the styrofoam. Then I'm going to put another piece of styrofoam on top. Hopefully when the spaghetti works together, it's going to be really strong and I'm going to test that theory by stacking books on top and not light books. I'm going to stack some hardcover books. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to start out and all I'm going to do is nice and carefully just kind of poke my pieces of spaghetti into the styrofoam. And now when our muscles work together, we have a lot of muscles. So I'm going to think the same way about spaghetti. I think that spaghetti would be stronger with more spaghetti. 
So I'm going to put quite a few, oh, look at that. I broke it. Be very careful. Quite a few pieces. And my styrofoam is actually broken too. Shh, don't tell anybody. So let's put in some more spaghetti. And I'm going to put, you know, probably about that much in. And this is great fine motor. It's great to have to push it in and use enough force, but not too much force that you actually break the spaghetti. So it takes control. It takes patience and it takes determination. You have to want to do it the right way in order to get the spaghetti. Oh, look at that one. I'm not paying attention and I broke it. We want to be able to get as many pieces in without them falling, without them cracking, without them, you know, really doing anything. So what do you think? You think that's enough? Probably add a few more. You know what? I always think people work better in groups. I think that everybody needs, you know, working by yourself is great. You learn a lot by walking, working by yourself. But I think things are better when you work in a team. And that's what we try and do in school. If we were doing this experiment at school, I would probably have you guys in pairs of two. And I would have almost like a competition. One of my dogs is going insane. I must be really excited about the spaghetti. Delilah! She's three months old. She's brand new. So she hasn't learned that during science lessons, you have to be quiet. Delilah. <laughs> so let's keep going. All right. Hmm, this is looking pretty good so far. Now, when I push down on it, some of them still seem to be kind of wobbly and kind of wiggly, but hmm, they're still st some, most of them are still ending up. Let me add a couple more on this side. And let's see what happens. I'm curious, is spaghetti strong? Because like I said, it doesn't seem it, but who knows? All right, so when you are done, you're carefully going to take your spaghetti and you're going to try and push the top piece of styrofoam onto a few of them. It doesn't have to be all of them, but you want the styrofoam to stay in place. And this can be tricky, so take your time. Science is not a race. Science is you working hard to get your end result. If you happen to get it the first time, that's great. But most times, and I'm gonna tell you, I've been doing a lot of science experiments over the years. It takes some patience and it takes some hard work. And you can't be afraid that, see, look, it's not going well, but I will not give up. I'm gonna keep going. So let's keep it moving. Come on, spaghetti. Oh, I got a bunch in there that time. You might have to get under it. There we go. The problem is a lot of them are shorter and longer. But that should work. All right. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to start with my, can you guys see me? I'm going to start with my fairy tales. Of course, Jack and the Beanstalk. Let's see how many books I can get it to hold. Whoa. I don't think my styrofoam is on very well. Let's try that again. Let's work on it a little bit more. Like I said, patience, guys. This is not meant to be a one, two, three activity. This is meant to work. This is meant to practice those fine motor skills, which is using your fingers to manipulate or move the spaghetti to get the styrofoam to stick. All right, let's try now. That is pretty cool, though. It's definitely not holding up, but the spaghetti isn't breaking. So now let's try two. Me and my dragon, by the way. Hmm, interesting. Let's try the little red hen. Whoa. <laughs> that was definitely too heavy for my spaghetti. Look at this. 
it's like half of them are broken, half of them are all over the place. Another great way that you guys can do this experiment is, like I said, if you don't have styrofoam, no worries. Because really styrofoam isn't something you come, along, come around very often. So, like I said, no problem at all. I'm going to show you another way. Because this way actually might be easier. So, let's try it. All right, so I'm going to keep my fairy tales over here, right behind me. And I'm going to get some more books over here. So you're going to get two stacks of books that are about the same height. Then you're going to take, I lost my spaghetti, a bunch of spaghetti. And you're just going to, under the first level, just kind of make as if you were making a bridge. All right? I want you to imagine a bridge that you would walk across. And when you have a nice stack, you're going to do exactly the same thing you're going to stack books on top. Now, can we use the books that we already used? No, because they're probably too big. But you can use different things. You can pretty much use anything you want. You can use if you have a cell phone. Put your cell phone on top. Look at that. It holds it up. Take the rest of the box of spaghetti. Put the spaghetti on top. It holds it up. Take anything around your house. Stack blocks, stack cars, stack magnets, stack anything, really, anything you guys want to stack and see how many different items you can get. Now I'm going to give you a hint. When you do it this way, it's going to hold a lot more than when you do it with the styrofoam because the styrofoam is very unsteady. This helps to secure it, which means that it doesn't move so much. So have fun, experiment, and let me know how strong is your spaghetti. I can't wait for you guys to tell me. All right, I will see you guys on Zoom on Tuesday. We'll be doing some dancing spaghetti, which should be really cool. And, of course, Miss Karen has a wonderful art project planned for you guys. So we will see you on Zoom. And, like I said, I can't believe it's the last week. I hope you guys have had fun. And, as always, we're here for any questions, anything you guys want to ask us, anything that you want to tell us. If you want to tell us how you did with an experiment, send us pictures, anything. We're always here. And for all of you, uh, we look forward to seeing you in September after this week is over. I can't believe it. School's starting. I am so excited to be back in the classroom. All right. So I will see you soon. Have a great day of experimenting with your spaghetti. And good luck. Have fun. And don't give up. Be strong, just like your spaghetti. All right. Bye.